Well, well, well. If it isn't Popcorn. Montreal's fifth overall pick at the 2023 draft. Habs fans have so many unanswered questions about this young man right now. Like, how's he been doing this season? When should we expect to see him in Canada? And of course, when will season five of Stranger Things be released? Well, it's all a mystery, isn't it? David Reinbacker's season, at first glance, looks like a complete disaster. Not only did he suffer an early knee injury which caused him to miss a few weeks, but... His offensive production, in general, has taken quite a dip this season. So what seems to be the problem here? Should we be concerned? Well, maybe. But first, let me defend him a little bit. Before you all start ripping patches of hair out of your head and look like a complete idiot, we all gotta keep in mind that David Reinbacker's team has been disgustingly bad this season. You wanna know where they're sitting? Right at the bottom of the septic tank. Look at him. I mean, you know it's bad when their goal differential is minus 62. Minus 62. And the last time I checked, hockey is indeed a team sport. So when you're a young kid and you're surrounded by trash, there's only so much you can do, okay? Reinbacker is only one young man. And don't get me wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to blame Reinbacker's underwhelming numbers on his team. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I am. David Reinbacker needs to get over here as quickly as possible, in my opinion, okay? And that brings us right into our next question. When should we be expecting this kid in Montreal? Well, you're in luck. Because a couple of days ago, an article was written on Montreal Hockey Now by our boy, Mark Dumont. And he actually answered this exact question. And it's kind of complicated because there's multiple scenarios. Scenario number one, which is what I like to call the best case scenario. Hey, I put a lot of thought into that one. Ryan Backer's team goes on a bit of a winning streak right now to close out the season. And they actually move up to right here. Position number 12. Therefore, they would no longer have to play in a relegation series at the end of the season. And we could see David Reinbacker join Lavelle or even the Canadians by March 5th, which is like two weeks away. Holy shit, a guy can dream. But of course, this one is a bit of a long shot, okay? Cloden is still like nine points away from the 12th seed. They've only got five games remaining in their season. So for this to work out, I mean, a lot of stuff has to go right. So now let's move on to plan B, or what I like to call the worst case Ontario. If Cloton doesn't move up in the standings and remains one of the bottom two teams in the league, which is most likely going to happen, well, they're going to have to play one or two best of seven game series to decide if they get relegated or not. Now, apparently, Ryan Becker will participate in these series. Okay, he's not going to quit on his team. And in this case, we won't get to see him until, like, anywhere from the end of March till the end of April. It's a pretty wide range, depending on how the series goes. But all I know is, I mean, hopefully at some point, he does join Lavelle. Or again, even Montreal. And gets to play some games. He's an interesting prospect right now. You don't really hear a whole lot about him. And from a production standpoint, this season, I mean... There hasn't really been a whole lot of positives, especially early on. Hopefully next season, his development takes some positive strides, okay? That's what we all want to see here. We want to see what's best for Ryan Backer. And I feel like that's got to happen in Lavelle. Again, just my two cents, but don't take me too seriously because I'm a complete idiot. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I'm going to pin a link to Mark Dumont's article right at the top. If you guys have any additional information, you can let her rip. Don't forget to cross-check the like button in the lips before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.